Hello everyone, I just wanted to say, bear with me, this is my first ever polygel video and I know that I am like five years late, but this is my first time and I'm trying just some polygel from Wish. I didn't want to invest any real money in it if I wasn't going to like the product. So let's get right into it. So this is the the kind of poly gel bukaki or something like that. And I'm sorry it's not focusing. There it goes. It's acra gel and this is the color, number 11. This is the other one that I got. Number 9. There you can see them a little bit better, a little bit further away. This one's more of a nudie pink. So let's try it out. I'm going to pour some just regular rubbing alcohol into my Daffin dish to use a slip solution. And I'm going to be using the Vena Lisa... Um, primer today but I think first I might actually take a little bit of the alcohol I do this quite often when I'm doing acrylics because it dehydrates the nail and removes any oils because yes you put dehydrator on but you don't actually wipe the oils off of the nail so I usually try to do that before I apply any kind of extension and it works pretty good for me Okay, as you can see, I need a fill with my acrylic and I'm leaving the end part on, the colored part, because I figured that we could just try to add it to the acrylic and see what happens. So um, I'm also going to be using my Melody Susie um, drill today, or light, I mean, I'm sorry. It's just the little like uh, small uh, portable one, I guess you would say. So, um, now I'm going to be putting on this regular, uh, Yayogi base coat. Okay. Try not to put that on the skin. Or on the cuticle. Okay. Here's what it looks like. This is what the lamp looks like. Very simple. sure how long we should cure this so I guess I'm just gonna leave it on for the full 60 seconds but it almost looks to me like it's drying really quickly so I guess we shall see I don't even know if this is going to work because I'm using multiple brands of products and I've never tried them out together before so let's figure this out together in case you don't have any money and you need to get your nails done okay it is cured now we're gonna leave this sticky layer on I'm going to do what they say in the nail videos I'm going to add some product and then I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to wet it really good with the alcohol or slip solution. Now let's see how this stuff moves. Hmm. Wow. That's actually pretty nice.
there's a string in it. Okay, let's hurry up. Let's just hurry up. I have heard that if you leave it touching the skin, it will burn you, so let's try not to do that. You guys can see what I'm doing. Alright. What do you think? To be honest, I actually really like this. It's a little bumpy, but I like it. It actually looks nice. I don't know about with my skin tone, but I like it. Okay, let's see if we can get this cured before my timer runs out on my phone. Did you guys see the tiny, tiny amount that I used? Do you? I think Kirsty Meekin said you're always supposed to pull the poly gel all the way to the end of the tube so that way it doesn't get bubbles in it. So, 
That's what we're going to try to do here. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not all the way to try. Let's try some more. supposed to do it for. I guess I should check on the Wish website and see what it says and see if it says to do it for um, one minute or two minutes. I definitely think we need a little bit more on there though because my apex wasn't very big. But I didn't want to spread it out so thin that you could see the colored acrylic underneath. So that's why I did that, everybody. Cool. Oh, it's got that white. Huh, it's got that whiteness, but there's no sticky layer. A little bit, but not too bad. Hmm. Cool. Okay. This is where your apex should be in the back third of the nail. Okay, let's do this again. Let's do another little part. And let's put that. And actually, there's actually quite a bit in those little tiny tubes, believe it or not. It's more than what you think it is. Okie dokie. Alright, so let's build this apex, apex, apex. Apex, apex, apex. What is up, girl? What is up, girl? And guys, if there's guys watching this too, don't mind my voice. My voice sounds very bad right now because I was working my butt off today. And I am tired. Plus, I got up at a quarter till six without an alarm clock. Yes, I said, without an alarm clock. Cannot be having that. Not cool, not cool. See, I'm used to doing the pat and press, 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 pat and press. And yes, don't mind. I know I have paint all over my hands. I know that I was painting my beautiful, beautiful living room orange. It's almost like the rubbing alcohol just melts it. Like, you don't even have to do anything hardly. Just brush it. Like, wherever you want. Okay, so I have brushed it a little bit too far forward, of course. Because this is my first time ever. Okay, so it looks like, mind you, this is a crap, crap gel brush too. It's from Wish also, and usually their brushes suck. But we shall see if we can make this happen. 
for the purposes of me having new skills <laughs> and for you all so you can watch me make a fool of myself and make this really lumpy crappy nail by the way also just to let you guys know i am not a professional nail artist i am just a at home nail artist who does her own nails. So, hopefully, you guys like it. Okay, now when I watch Nail by Nikki videos, she. always says that you should not have that white pasty stuff. However, I have the white pasty stuff. So, Okay, guys. Okay, guys. What do you think? Do you think I did okay? Let's check it out. Okay, so. Down the barrel. On the side profile. Checking for the apex. On the top. I think I did it. Okay. I'm gonna cure. Because we can always file any boo-boos that we have going on. Okay, now we have to figure out what we're going to do with this nail. Are we going to paint it? Or are we going to just buff it in top coat? I think I wrote top coat. Because I don't have any colored acrylic that that's the... That is that color and it is beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So hopefully you guys can um, like and subscribe my channel. And give me a chance to actually make you guys some cute, fun, interesting, and hilarious videos. Because I am made for the funny. So I know that today I am not very funny. But we'll be in the future, I promise. I'm just tired. But I really wanted... To do this poly gel acro gel whatever you call it and i didn't want to not make a video of me trying this for the first time because i figured that would be something super fun even though i'm super late to the game um it would be really fun so let's check it out let's see i'm gonna grab my file really quick here just a regular ass now, first of all, you always file the sidewalls. Get it up in the shot right here. File the sidewalls. Other sidewall. You want to be using a pretty coarse, well, not too coarse of a file, but definitely one that isn't like 80 grit for. Now, see how I'm holding that with my other fingers? When you're filing, like, your pinky that's on the other opposite side of your hand, and it's hard for you to balance, <laughs> it is easier for me to just hold it with my other finger, or I prop it like this with my nail. That works really, really good, too. Okay, now... Let's do the very end. And when I do the end, I do not go like this. Because you usually end up with one side bigger than the other. No matter what, no matter how many times you try, you always are going to end up with it for good. So. This nail is looking a bit wonky. You don't mind my chair. Yes, it's making weird noises, but I love this little stool. It's the perfect height, and it 
it works. So, okay. But when you look at it like this, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it's crooked. Does it? I don't think so. Okay. Up and down, up and down, like this. Here's your really great straight edge. Okay, everyone tells me poly gel is so easy, or aqua gel. I keep saying the wrong thing, sorry guys. But everyone says you don't need a hand or a lecture file, an e file to do poly gel, so, or aqua gel. Let's just try that theory out. And I know everybody says you shouldn't blow on people, but I don't blow on other people. Only myself, guys, okay? Only myself. And I know it's not a good habit to get into, but... Now, did you pay attention to the direction? I'm going around the cuticle like this with my edge of my file tucked right in there all the way around to the very front of my finger. And then I go up and over like this to make sure that that cuticle is not higher than the rest and making a lip. Then I just go from the sidewall to sidewall, rounding it across the top. So a little bit higher on this side. And if we wanted to get real fancy, we could have um, we could have I forget what I was going to say. Never mind, guys. Okay. Like I said, I'm tired. I'm tired, guys. Okay, now let's see if we can check this apex. Okay. Everybody look at that. Look at that nail. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, wait. I see a little bit of boo. I see a little boo boo right here. And right here. You always have to make sure that you get that area right here where the end of your finger ends because a lot of people leave it really fat right here because they think if they file too close, it's going to make him weak. The only way it's going to make it weak is if you go in an angle like this and it takes a notch out of right here. If you keep your file straight like this and then like this up and down and then across and the same when you're trying to get those sides really, you know, slender. That's what you want to do. And then you always want to make sure that it is <sighs> You always want to make sure it is straight out from the side walls. So, 
Now, let us see what it looks like. Wow. By the way, I had already pushed back my cuticles and did all that stuff before I started the video. I apologize for that. Okay, so we already cleaned all the debris, all the dust off the nail. Now I am using my Mia Secret um glass finish that's which one this is hold on one second i will double check it is yes the mia secret glass finish uv led gel for natural and artificial nails. Now I'm going to cure that for one minute. And then we're going to check out the finished product. And I just want to say thank you everybody for watching this video. If you stayed all the way to the end, you are bomb, 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 bomb. And we all are, ladies. All of us in this world have our own special qualities that make us different and more wonderful than the next person. But just remember, no one is perfect and no one is better than anybody, okay? So, yeah, you might think you're better than the person that's addicted to whatever on the corner, but guess what, guys? We are all the same. Some of us just have way more problems than others, okay? So, be very, very passionate when you talk to people that aren't as fortunate as you and this is almost ready to come out of the light and we will see what it looks like <gasps> obviously i filed just a smidge away from the sides more a little bit more than what i should have but not too bad for my first poly gel nail Acro gel, G mini Christmas, guys. Okay, well, hopefully everyone enjoyed that video, and I will be sure to bring you lots more just like it. Have a great day. Don't forget, you are awesome, and you should love yourself. Bye.